Once upon a time in a Buddhist monastery, nestled in the rolling hills, there lived a monk named Daiki. He was diligent in his practice and devoted to following the teachings of Buddha. However, despite his dedication, Daiki found himself often distracted by the progress of his fellow monks. Every day during meditation sessions he would peek at the other monks and compared himself to their progress. Envy and frustration filled his mind. He believed that he was not progressing when compared to the others. One day after a meditation session, Daiki decided to seek guidance from their master. Master Wu was a wise and compassionate monk who had spent decades on his spiritual journey. Daiki bowed respectfully before the master and expressed his troubles. The master with a gentle smile patted Daiki on the shoulder and said, Dear friend, your struggles are not uncommon. Many of us face the same challenges on our spiritual path. Remember, each individual's journey is unique and unfolds at its own pace. Comparing yourself to others will only hinder your progress. Buddha taught us the importance of focusing inward and cultivating mindfulness. When you constantly look outside and measure yourself against others, you create unnecessary suffering and dissatisfaction. Master Wu then shared an important information with Daiki to solve his problem. He said, you see, in the forest, there were a variety of flowers, each with its own unique beauty and fragrance. The flowers do not compare themselves to one another, nor did they wish to become like the other flowers. They simply bloomed, each according to its own nature. Master looked into the Daiki's eyes and said, Just like the flowers, each individual has their strengths and weaknesses, their unique qualities and virtues. Your journey is a personal one, and the key is to focus on nurturing your own inner garden rather than worrying about others' progress. Daiki listened intently, his heart gradually calming. Master Wu continued, Embrace mindfulness in every aspect of your life. When you meditate, be present in the moment, allowing your mind to settle naturally. When you perform daily tasks, do them with attention and care. In this way, you will find a profound sense of contentment and peace, free from the burdens of comparison. As days turned into weeks and weeks into months, Daiki took the master's advice to heart. He diligently practiced mindfulness, focusing on his own journey, without concern for others' progress. Slowly, he began to experience a deep sense of tranquility and self-acceptance. One day, during meditation, Daiki felt a profound shift within himself. He realized that, comparing himself to others, had been an unnecessary burden. In the silence of his heart, he embraced the wisdom of the Master's teachings. From that moment on, Daiki became an embodiment of inner peace and contentment. He blossomed like the flowers in the forest each petal reflecting his newfound wisdom. Therefore, Daiki learned the invaluable lesson of focusing on himself. A spiritual journey flourished, and he became an inspiration to all. From the Buddhist perspective, the idea of individual self is an illusion. It is not possible to separate self from its surroundings. When you focus on yourself, you improve your relationships with those around you. When you start filling your cup, you tend to see vast improvement in your health, mindset, work, and goals. Whatever it is that is important to you, it is amazing. Focusing on yourself evolves around self-care. Self-care allows you to turn your attention toward yourself in a fundamental way. Switch your phone off. Pour some of that time and effort back into yourself. One of the best ways to be happier is to express gratitude. We feel better about our lives and ourselves when we are grateful for what we already have. If you are grateful for your life, you will not focus on others or what they have. Give up personalizing everything. You must learn to set aside your feelings in order to concentrate on yourself. This is a wisdom story for you. Thanks and stay blessed.